So the question that you might be having is which fasting technique should you use in order to burn fat? Now, first I want to give you a quick rundown about fasting. Let's say that you fast for 23 hours of the day. You're like, man, I am doing awesome. I'm shredding fat, I'm losing weight. But within that hour, you go and have your Starbucks drink, you have a cup of rice, maybe some sausages, a protein bar, a chocolate milkshake, et cetera, et cetera. And you've only burned, let's say 1500 calories, but yet you ate 18 to 2000 calories, which we know isn't that hard. Fasting isn't going to do anything when it comes to your fat loss or your weight loss. So really, the calorie in, calorie out equation applies to your fasting technique. So it doesn't matter what technique you do, if you're still overeating, you're not gonna see any results. Now when it comes to fasting, there's a true fast where it's just plain water. You have a low impact fast where you get coffee, tea, and then some natural zero calorie sweeteners like organic stevia or you can have a zero calorie fast where you get the artificial sweeteners. It's not technically a fast without going into the whole science of it. Any of the artificial sweeteners like sucralose, they're going to break your fast by creating an insulin response, but we're not gonna get into that. So the first type of fasting is a 16 hour fast. Now, if you've burned through all your calories from yesterday within that 16 hour window, then you're gonna start to dip into your fat stores. But once again, Let's say that you have a crazy weekend. Friday, you started in on the wine. Saturday, you have a girls' night where you're gonna have the charcuterie boards, the cheese, all the little spreads, the crackers, the wine, the treats, the steaks, whatever it is that you do. If you consume six, 7,000 calories over the past two days and you only burn like, let's say 4,000, you're in a caloric surplus that you're not probably burning on a Sunday because A, you're not working on a Sunday, you're not as busy, and your metabolism just isn't that high. So it doesn't matter if you overate the day before and then you try some crazy fasting technique, all you're doing is creating a better, closer gap to creating balance. Now, if you've been eating a regular diet and you're still eating under the calories that you burn throughout the day, then yes, the 16 hour fast is gonna start to dip into your fat stores for energy. Now a 24 hour fast is that you are dipping into the fat stores, more than likely you've burned through all the calories from the day before, and into the 24 hour fast is when you start to see reduction in inflammation by giving your body a time to break up all the free radicals that you get from food. Now there are certain foods that trigger a bigger inflammatory response. Some people are allergic to gluten, some people are allergic to dairy, so those things are gonna cause a complete inflammation. And so what would happen with this 24 hour fast, your body has the time to break it down, to release it as energy and then leave your body, right? So the 24 hour fast is a great way to do kind of like what's called a reset. Now the big fast, which I've had a bunch of my belly burners go into, is the 48 hour fast. Now I'm gonna tell you, it sounds impossible until you start to do it. Because if you're already doing a 16 hour fast, what's another couple hours before that 24? Now between the hours of 18 to 20 is when you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna get hungry and blah, 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 and you start to get worried. And then the 24 comes, you're like, you know what, I feel okay. And the next thing you know, you're at 28. And next thing you know, you go to bed, you wake up, you're already at 36, and you only got a couple hours left to go. So when it comes to a 48 hour fast, you're actually gonna see a lot of health benefits from it as well. So not only are you going to dip into the fat stores, you're going to reduce your body inflammation, you're going to create a reset, you're also gonna be in a major caloric deficit where you're really diving deep into those fat reserves, and then you create what's called autophagy. So autophagy is a process of breaking down damaged cells, even some cancerous cells, and they engulf, the good cells engulf the bad cells, which creates new, stronger ones. So if you're looking to improve your health and your general well-being and prevent potentially some of these cancerous cells from growing, then a 48 hour fast not only has all the fat burning benefits, but it has longevity and it has health saving benefits as well. So whichever intermittent fasting schedule you like to do, there are many other schedules such as like a 20 hour fast, which is a warrior fast, eat or stop, eat, stop. <laughs> There's a couple other ones that a lot of people do, but the 16, 24, and 48 hours are the most popular. I would tell you that whichever one you want to choose, make sure that you build yourself up in the length that you want and monitor your energy levels 
especially your workout levels and your ability to function both mentally and physically. Now, if you go to our blog, which is at www.fitclub.fit and you search up fasting, I've got complete fasting schedules from beginners to more advanced there. You just got to do the search and that video will pop up. So guys, before you go, I want to know how many hours of fasting are you currently doing on a regular and then also give the video a like.